Hello, Abiram, Briella, and Mila. Hello, Paul, Serafina, and Ashlyn. Hello, Lucy, Camelia, and Hudson. It's nice to see you here. Hello, Owen, Andrew, Andrew, sorry, Olivia. Hello, Anna, Will, Tristan. Hello, Teddy, Kaylin, Noah. It's nice to see you here. Hello, Molly, Eliza, Julia. Hello, Bode. Hello, friends. It's nice to see you here. Good morning, my friends. Happy Monday. The book I want to read today is kind of a fun one. It's one that is based on a true story and it takes place right here in Boston. Some of you may have seen this book before. It's called Norbert. What can little me do? And you'll see this book has a badge as well. It won the uh, Next Generation Indie Book Award. So this is about a cute little dog named Norbert. He's only three pounds. And the back tells you, the jacket says, this is a lovable tale about a tiny three pound dog who moves to the big city and seeks to answer the question, what can little me do? Prepare to be surprised by what he discovers. The story is inspired by a real dog named Norbert. And on the jacket here it has the author, whose name is Julie Fryermuth. And this is her mother, Patricia Fryermuth. And Julie owns Norbert, the real dog. And, her, and she wrote the story. And then her mother did all of the pictures. And this we'll look at later. Um, has all these different techniques that her mom used for the artwork in this book. So anyway, let's get started. This is about Norbert, and I love dogs. I know you know that, and I know many of you do too. So this journal belongs to Norbert. Jacket has lots of interesting information that says, my name is, no hi, <laughs> my name is Norbert. You are holding my artist's journal about my move to the big city. I had no idea what a little three pound dog like me could do in such a huge place. I was surprised to discover the answer and I bet you will be too. Is Norbert coming to his home? I moved to a big city. What do you see on that page? How did you get there? This page is cool. Look at the perspective of looking up at the tower, the um, the building. Oh, Norbert, what can little me do? With lots of help from Julie Fryermuth and Virginia K. Fryermuth. That night, I wondered what can little three pound me do in this big new city? The next day, Mama said, Norbert, let's go for a walk and find things to do. There they are. Look at Norbert getting all kinds of attention from people. I know that when I see little dogs or any dogs when I'm out and about, I like to talk to them. Here's a picture someone drew. 
May I hold him? May I pet him? There's tiny little Norbert. What do you think he's thinking? If you were going to write speech bubbles or thinking bubbles for Norbert, I wonder what they would say. I wished I could woof like the loud collie dog, but my mini mouth makes a very mini sound. I can't do what big dogs do. What can little me do? I wished I could give rides like the big strong horse, but my little legs are too short and too weak. I can't do what horses can do. Have you seen those horses in carriages when you're in Boston? The next day, we went back to the park. Kids yelled, look, look, what's that? He looks like a fluffy marshmallow. I can't believe he's full grown. He's a dog named Norbert, Mama answered back. I wish I could fly in the sky like the birds, but I have no wings, so my paws stayed put. I can't do what birds do. What can little me do? I wished I could swim like the ducks on the pond, but my furry body's not made for wet places. I don't even like that. I can't do what ducks do. What can little me do? I wish I could climb up the tree like the squirrel, but I fell on my belly and felt pretty silly. I can't do what squirrels do. What can little me do? Oh, poor Norbert. The next day, Mama said, let's take the subway and go to the store. Everyone had somewhere to go, something to do, except me. I couldn't even climb the stairs because every step was way too high. I can't do what big dogs do. I can't do what horses do. I can't do what birds do. I can't do what ducks do. I can't do what squirrels do. What can little me do? Nothing. Ooh, text to text connection. Do you remember Jack's talent where he says, I can't do what all of these different people can do? That's what this is reminding me of. Also, if you hear squeaking right now, it's because Welker is playing with his toys right down on the floor trying to get my attention. <laughs> At the store, the sales lady said, You're the littlest dog I have ever seen. You must make everybody smile. Mama said, That's what my little Norbert does best. I think that is very important. He makes people smile just by being himself. Then I realized that's what I can do. I can make people smile. And that was always true. Okay. 
right from the start. Making people smile was my greatest gift. I only had to follow my very big heart. The sales lady told us we should become a registered therapy animal team. And that's just what we did. And now we volunteer to bring smiles and comfort to many in need. And there is real life Norbert. And his mama, Julie. And they are registered therapy, a registered therapy team at Pet Partners, touching lives, improving health. And there they are again. Aren't they sweet? And guess what? There's a little bit about Norbert. This is another reason I wanted to read this book this week because his date of birth is March 27th, and that's coming up very soon. That's this week. Um, his nicknames are Norby and Norbs. He's a mixed breed, and when he's full grown, his height is only seven inches tall. My favorite stuff to do, walk in the park, take naps, play with stinky socks, make people smile. His favorite things to eat are turkey, chicken, eggy, schmeggy, and kibble. His favorite toys are froggy, his blue monkey, stinky socks, and a striped ball. And his favorite tricks are to high five and to zen or to lie down. And then this is a little bit about the Pet Partners, which is the organization that he and his mom founded. It says about Pet Partners, Pet Partners Therapy Animal Program trains volunteers and evaluates volunteers with their pets so they can visit patients and clients in hospitals, nursing homes, hospice and physical therapy centers, schools, libraries, and many other facilities. It says, I have an awesome badge and everything. Our volunteer work brings joy, comfort, and of course, smiles to lots of people. I love that story. I wonder if we've seen, if you've seen Norbert out and about and you didn't even know it was him because we live in the same area that he lives in for real. And then what I wanted to say is that um, Julie's mom, Patricia, who did the, the art for this book, says the illustrations in Norbert's artist's journal were created with traditional and non-traditional mixed media, which means different types of artwork. And these are just some of the materials. And you know what? I'm not gonna read them all, but I'll show you all the different ways that Patricia I'm sorry, not Patricia, Virginia, my mistake, um, did the artwork for this book. Okay. Have any of you been writing any stories at all this week or last week? I'd love to have you email me them or take a picture and show me what you've done. Or maybe you could write a story about your pet or a dog or anything at all. Um, maybe you've been practicing using your Tide or your SWB. <laughs> Somebody wanted, but so finally ending. That's your organizer for your stories, right? Anyway, have a great day, everybody. I'll be doing a few more read alouds. I'd like to take a quick minute also to say hello to Simon, Josh, Liam, Vivi, and Domenico. Everybody else, have a lovely day. I will talk to you soon. Bye.